A study finds the supervolcano below Yellowstone National Park is much larger than previously thought. Two and a half times larger, in fact, that makes the magma chamber 55 miles long. Yellowstone's hidden magma chamber and the supervolcano question. Yellowstone National Park, with its breathtaking geysers, steaming hot springs, and vast caldera, is once again at the center of global scientific attention. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, has recently unveiled groundbreaking research that peered deep beneath Yellowstone's surface, uncovering not just one, but multiple layers of magma chambers hidden miles below the Earth's crust. Using state-of-the-art magnetotelluric imaging and seismic mapping, scientists have detected four shallow rhyolitic magma reservoirs sitting between 4 and 11 kilometers below ground, as well as a much larger, deeper basaltic magma body extending down to 50 kilometers. These findings confirm what geologists have long suspected. Yellowstone's underground is an intricate labyrinth of molten rock, partially solidified reservoirs and pressurized gas pockets, all feeding the park's world-famous hydrothermal features. But what does this mean for the geysers that shoot water sky high and more importantly, does this discovery signal that the Yellowstone supervolcano is preparing to awaken? According to USGS experts, the answer is no, not anytime soon. The new imaging reveals that most of the magma beneath Yellowstone is not fully molten. Instead, the chambers contain about 5 to 15 percent melt, with the rest locked as solid rock. At the uh, deeper levels, that percentage drops even lower to just around 2 percent molten material. In short, there simply isn't enough liquid magma to fuel a catastrophic super eruption. Adding to the sense of stability, is the discovery of a magma cap, a partially molten layer about 3.5 to 4 kilometers beneath the surface. Far from being a threat, this cap acts like a safety valve. It allows gas and heat to escape slowly into the overlying hydrothermal system, which is why Yellowstone continues to bubble, steam, and explode with geyser eruptions. Without this natural venting system, pressure could build more dangerously. Underground. Still, geyser activity, while dramatic, does not mean the supervolcano is stirring. Instead, it reflects the constant circulation of boiling water and steam in the park's hydrothermal plumbing system. These eruptions are fueled by heat escaping from the magma far below, not by magma itself rising toward the surface. Scientists emphasize that geysers are a sign of release, not impending doom. Of course, Yellowstone is no ordinary volcano. It has erupted three times in the last 2.1 million years each time on a scale that reshaped entire continents. The sheer size of its magma system, combined with its explosive history, is why Yellowstone has earned its title as a supervolcano. The thought of it erupting again captures the imagination and fear of people worldwide. But statistically, the annual chance of such an event is vanishingly small, around 0.014% per year. 
making it far less likely than a major asteroid strike. What scientists do acknowledge, however, is that Yellowstone is a dynamic, ever-changing landscape. Recent studies suggest that magma movement may be slowly migrating toward the northeast section of the caldera, although this shift is still within the system's natural cycles. Earthquakes, ground uplift, and geyser bursts are all part of Yellowstone's living geology. For now, USGS researchers stress that the park is closely monitored 24-7 with a network of seismographs, GPS stations, and satellite data. Any significant rise in magma movement, gas output or surface deformation would be detected long before an eruption became imminent. So, will the next spectacular geyser eruption at Yellowstone be the spark that awakens a supervolcano? The science says no, absolutely not. Geysers are a symptom of Yellowstone's stability, not its destruction. They are reminders of the immense power beneath our feet, power that is for now being safely vented to the surface. Yellowstone, therefore, remains what it has been for thousands of years, a natural wonder, a geological laboratory, and a place where Earth reveals both its beauty and its potential for unimaginable force. The magma chamber may be vast, but it is not ready to break free. Instead, it fuels the geysers, hot springs and fumaroles that make Yellowstone one of the most extraordinary places on the planet. In summary, a vast magma chamber exists beneath Yellowstone, mapped with new precision. The system is largely solid, with melt percentages too low for eruption. A magma cap helps vent pressure safely, powering geysers. Geyser eruptions are not signs of a looming supervolcano event. The risk of a catastrophic eruption remains extremely low.